Welcome to the video everyone, Shadowmains here, and today I want to do a quick update to talk about Monster Hunter updates that were shown at Capcom's E3 presentation. So they didn't really have a ton to show off, but what they did have to show was a few quick updates for Monster Hunter Rise, and kind of a major update for Monster Hunter Stories too. Let's start with the Monster Hunter Rise updates. On June 18th, they will be releasing Collab Event 1, which is the Monster Hunter Rise Monster Hunter Stories 2 Collab Event quest that will give you the Tsukino layered armor for your Palico once the requirements for making that are met. Then on June 24th, Update 3.1 will be released, and with it the usual bug fixes, as well as a plethora of new event quests, event quest rewards, and of course, a DLC pack that I am 100% going to have a video highlighting right here on the channel shortly after it's released. So make sure you are subscribed to me down below and have the bell so that you get the video as soon as it goes live. For the Monster Hunter Stories 2 updates, they're planning on releasing a demo that you'll be able to download and play on June 25th. And you'll also be able to carry over your progress from the demo to the full game that's releasing on July 9th. Now this is kind of huge for the Monster Hunter Stories stuff. Um, and unfortunately it's only been confirmed for Nintendo Switch, but if you are going to play it on PC, um, definitely check the Steam page on June 25th just to see if they decided to do a PC demo as well. That way you aren't missing out on any of the uh, delicious Monster Hunter Stories 2 demo content. The final bit of news that they put out for Monster Hunter Stories 2 was that on July 15th, we're going to be getting the first free title update for the game. Uh, and basically this title update is going to be bringing a Palamute that you are essentially going to be able to use like a monsty. So you know how you go and capture a monster, get the egg for the monster. Um, you're going to have an egg for this Palamute that you'll be able to hatch. And then you're able to use it in the game as a, um, a monsty companion to fight other monsters and hopefully uh, be able to be used in the online play as well. And that was basically it for the updates for um, Capcom's Monster Hunter showings. Like I said, they really didn't have a whole lot of updates for this. It was just kind of a quick story trailer, which you should definitely go watch, uh, as well as, you know, the demo for Monster Hunter Stories 2 is going to be coming in. I think it's like a little over a week at this point. Um, maybe it's like closer to two weeks, but June 25th is just right around the corner. So make sure you're checking out that demo because that's going to be that's going to be good stuff right there. Um, and then, of course, we got, you know, the title update for Monster Hunter Stories 2, as well as a few small things for Monster Hunter Rise that will be getting updated over the next couple weeks. So beyond that, there really wasn't anything. Um, you did, this is this is it. <laughs> this is all the updates. But with that being said, I am going to leave you guys with a question. Please answer this question down in the comments below if you want to participate. But what is your favorite moment of E3 so far? Um, right now, as of this video recording, this is the night before the Nintendo event. But I think the my favorite moment of E3 so far has been the Battlefield 2042 updates. That's just me. I love the Monster Hunter stuff. I love that we are getting a uh, Stories 2 demo here very soon. But the hypest moment has just been seeing the chaos that Battlefield 2042 is going to be bringing. Um, if you want to watch that or stuff like that, because I will be doing Monster Hunter content, I will probably also be spreading out and playing a few other games. Uh, make sure that you use the link down in the description to go to my Twitch channel. Follow me there. Um, join the Discord. Follow me on Twitter. That way you'll know, you know, you'll be kept up to date with me. Um, but those are the places that you could reach me. So make sure you're doing that. All the links, like I said, are down in the description below. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. You've all been absolutely incredible. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.